Hi, it's that time of year again. In the next week or so, we'll be sending out our tax organizers for our individual clients. Many of our individual clients fill out organizers, but some don't. And we always have questions about what should you do with the organizer. It's a stack of paper, and I know it looks intimidating, and hopefully today I can make it a little less so. One of the front, in the first couple of sections of the organizer, you're gonna have about three or four pages of questions. It's really helpful for us if you go through and answer those yes or no questions, and maybe put a question mark by some of those questions that trigger questions in your mind, so that we know that you've got an issue that you wanna to talk to us about, or maybe write the question down that you've got so that we can actually go through it. The point of the questions are to highlight various new transactions that you may have this year that you didn't have last year, or transactions that require special conversations between you and I as we go through and prepare your tax return for 2015. The other parts of the organizer really go through and provide ways for you to give us data about key things that have gone on during the year. Perhaps you've got a rental property and you need to give us effectively the income statement for that rental property and the organizer gives us a nice clean way of communicating that information to us. It's efficient if you use it because we know exactly where to look for the data and can help go through it. Now let's talk about all of those various other forms that you get as you go through. In the next month, month and a half, maybe even two months, you're going to start getting various 1099s and forms 1098 from banks, uh, brokerage houses, uh, credit card companies, all sorts of forms that are going to be stamped very important this information reported to the IRS. Because of that last little bit, it's important that you provide us with those forms. What we want you to do is give us what you get. If you get paper versions of those forms, go ahead and set us a Find a spot to put a stack of all of those pages together so that when they're all complete, you can go ahead and send them to us. If for some reason the institution sends you an electronic copy, that's okay. You can go ahead when all of your information is together or most of your information is together and send us that electronic copy and we can use it to work with. The point of the organizer though is to also help you keep track of how do you know when you're complete. The organizer will list all of the brokerage security statements that you had last year, the various bank accounts that you had, and you can go through and just tick them off. There's no need to worry about transferring information from box one of your W-2 into a specific form in the organizer. Really what you need to do is just go through and check the box to make sure that you've got it. And if we have the W-2, we can transfer the information for you. You don't have to worry about doing that part. So the organizer is a good tool to communicate information to us. It's a good tool for you to use to make sure that all of your information is complete. And hopefully, it'll make for a nice, easy tax season for both of us this year if you use the form.